everyone, this is Cyanizer001. Welcome back to another video on this channel, where today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 98 or Windows 98 Second Edition on VMware Fusion. Now in this video I was meant to install Windows 95, however, I had a few problems with installing it. Also, Windows 95 is a pretty tedious way to install because it needs 7 boot disks for it to be successfully installed. Very inefficient. Windows 98 over here only needs one. And I actually downloaded the OEM full version of Windows 98 Second Edition as the ISO image file. OEM, in other words, is basically the easier, like the shortcut method of installing Windows 98. So we'll just hit continue. And we will just install, um, here we go, Windows 98 Second Edition ISO image file. I got my one from winworldpc.com. You can all get it from allbootdisciso.com, even though I recommend this website here. So we'll click continue and we'll finish and we'll save it and let's get big. <clears throat> now you, ha you must in this case boot from the hard, uh, not from the hard disk, from the CD-ROM because installing from the hard disk will cause a missing operating system error. So you want to select two. Now you want to start Windows 98 from CD-ROM or not. For some reason, I do kind of run into problems to install with CD-ROM support. It takes a bit longer. So if you are not really familiar with downloading Win98 from the command prompt, I actually recommend to start the setup straight away from CD-ROM. Hit enter. Doing it from without CD-ROM support and doing the setup straight away is not really much of a difference. This way I'm showing you right now is the easier method. It'll show you um, the... It'll do the stuff for you rather than you having to enter the commands yourself. So that was kind of cool. But if you would like to be advanced, then you can do so. Um, I'll also direct as I go along as to what commands you want to type. So you want to hit enter. Now configure unallocated disk space. Yes, please. You have a drive over 512 megabytes. Would you like to enable large disk support? Now, if you are doing it without the CD-ROM support, what you have to do is you have to type in FDisk, and it'll give you a same um, message saying about large disk support. One thing to note about um, enabling large disk support is that if you are using Win95, WinNT, or even some older versions of MS-DOS and Windows 3.1, etc., it'll be kind of difficult to um, gain access with the large disk support of these older operating systems. And any of those operating systems that uses the FAT32 file system, it'll be um, useless. It will no longer be accessible on this um, new system. As it'll start to use the NTFS file system, which even Windows 10, Windows XP had used um, to this day, is a very old NTFS file system, but it's still being used by newer technology. So we would like to enable large disk support in our case, but... If you would like to um, think of turning back after you download, then I recommend you go on the no option. So we'll just click yes. Setup will restart your computer now. Please make sure Win98 boot disk is in drive A. We'll hit enter. And boot from CD-ROM? Yes, we do. Start Windows 98 setup? Yes, we do. And it will do its thing. It will do its thing. And there we go, and now it's formatting the C drive. If you're doing it from the command prompt, you have to type fdisk and you have to create a primary DOS partition. And it will give you some maximum disk support stuff and you have to restart the system like how I did here. And where you had to format the C drive, you had to type in D slash Windows 98 or A drive slash Windows 98, format C colon. And when you type format C colon, you would have to uh, also consider about wiping your hard drive. They actually allowed you to have that option in the MS-DOS prompt, but on this version, this setup, it didn't allow it. So you may want to consider making a backup overall before you decide to download Windows 98. So after you do type format C drive in the command prompt, if you're taking the harder route of going into the MS-DOS prompt, then you would like to type in setup on D drive slash Win98, where all your system files are. So for me, I'll just hit enter. And the scan disk does this thing. And there we go. Welcome to Win98 setup. 
Congratulations on choosing Win98, the software that makes your computer more powerful, reliable, manageable, and entertaining. <laughs> Say that to Windows 10. <laughs> With Windows 98, you can connect to the internet quickly with very loud noises like bleeping off the dial-up system. Win 98 is even easier to use than Win 95. I mean, the system has a point about that. Setup will take from 30 minutes to 60 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. So for me, it'll take about 10-20 minutes because it's a virtual machine, so it'll be very fast. But if you have a real machine, it will take quite some time. So to begin setup, we'll hit continue. We would like to install on C slash Windows. We'll hit next. And we'll click on the custom option because I want to see what they have. Let's install desktop themes. Let's install everything. Download. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I think that's really good. Web TV. Wow. Didn't know Win98 was allowed to do that. We'll hit next now. And yeah, that's, that's, we'll just call that virtual machine. Virtual machine. Next. And we'll change that to British, where I currently am. British, okay, next. We'll click on United Kingdom and start copying files. Next. Welcome to Win98. Sit back and relax while Win98 does this kind of weird stuff that's going on. And um, more innovative. Wow. Includes hundreds of enhancements. Easier to use. I don't think Win98 is easier to use. At least, I mean, it's easier than MS DOS, but it's a bit harder than Windows XP, for example. Look at how old it is. Faster with performance. Um, I don't think so. What happened to i7 back in your day? <laughs> hmm. They all look pretty cool back in their day. But now it's, now it's just garbage. Even MS-DOS would be garbage. I mean, it's not really that garbage because it uses the command line. What's cool about command line compared to um, what we use today called WIMP, which is Windows icon, um, Windows icon, what the other one, and then this pointer. They um, is less resource heavy to use a command line one than WIMP or GUI. And we'll just, we'll just restart the computer now. Restart. Oh, here we go. Okay, user information. Let's put my name there. Um, ionizer underscore company work group. Nah, let's 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 spice it up a little. Yo, mama. Pretty old, but why not? Next, license agreement. Um, you know what, I'll just, you know what, I'll just see, uh, da 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 I don't think anybody really cares about this anymore. Ooh, what do you have, oh, never mind. If you acquire the software in the United States of America, the software license, oh no, what if happens if I accidentally, you know, steal the software? Do I get in jail? But I'll just accept the agreement because I don't think anybody uses Win98 anymore. It's no longer even supported by Windows. By Microsoft, I mean. Windows product key. What's funny about Windows 98 as well as the older systems is that they never really um, allowed um, any kind of um, validation for any of these um, product keys. So you could basically use the same product key for all hundreds and different of machines and still be able to get Win 98 legit. So Win 1899. Yeah, I'm, I really do not care. You guys, if you guys really want this, you guys can have it because nobody really uses this anymore. Uh, let's see. Well, eight. Oh, we hope this works. Zero, 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 four, two, one, three, four, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. This should be okay. Oh, what the hell happened there? Hang on. Zero, zero, four. Okay, something ha weird happened there. Let's go back. Sorry about this. Um, zero zero four two, zero zero four two one three four. One three four. Four two one three four. Three four three one. Zero zero nine. Huh? Maybe it doesn't use the OEM edition. Let me. Let's have we just check these ones. So. 
FX JGV JGV V V four seven K eight V four seven K eight K eight nine T K J three nine T K J three um four U V V T four U V V T C T C F W C T C F W next this product key you entered is invalid. You cannot complete setup without a valid product key. Come on. How can, how can you tell this is not even valid? I, I swear it is. Let's see if there's any other for the OEM. This, there's like about a hundred different kinds of um, systems here. Let me just quickly see for the OEM. OEM license. Let's try this one. Um, K, K four H V D, Q nine T J nine Q nine T J nine, uh six C R X nine six C R X nine, um C nine G six eight C nine G six eight, and R Q two D three R Q two D three. I think actually I take that back. Huh, your entry is invalid. What to do? You may think of seeing the other calendar of Hot Line. Oh, some. Oh, wait, I think I know why. I'm using Win98 product key, not Windows 98 second edition product key. That might be the reason why I'm not being able to use this. Let's see. Yeah, what's funny about. You have to be very tacky to be able to use with the Win98 product key. Let's see. Let's try this one. It's a whole massive bank. You have to, you have to on Windows ninety eight play a bit of a coin toss game in order to be able to um, get this installed. Let's see what else do we have. Let's try OEM. Okay. Um, D D okay D B. D B W V G W V G B K seven nine Y B K seven nine Y seven nine Y C V T nine H C V T nine H C Y R G X C Y R G X three T K C T three T K C T next Yeah, there's something weird going on with Windows 98. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's check the help option. Really, I thought I th I thought um. I I thought when um the help would be much more helpful than this. Turns out not. All right. Let's try. Let me just try another one here. When you have to download Windows 98, it's a bit tedious doing this. Here we go. Let's try this one. Hope you're lucky. PRDDH 83JD9. 83JD9. G6PK4. G6PK4. Um, 684GF. 684GF. And 6Y730B. 6y73 please work please work please work please work yay works windows 98 saved all the information yay do apologize for it for uh, being this long but downloading windows 98 can be a bit of a coin toss I mean, microsoft do you really care about this anymore probably not so we're doing this so if you actually have a real machine you would have to um if you had the installation disk, you'd be lucky. But for me, you would have to play around with the internet. But it doesn't even have amazing validation um, validation systems. Even other people that try to install this on VMware had problems trying to install Windows 98 with these product keys. That was a bit of a, an error they had back then. But we are here. And that's what counts. Mm -hmm. It takes its time. Windows 98 is a very weird um, OS. 
Uh, even Windows 2000 was a bit better. But I think the worst one it was got to be Windows ME compared to any of the Windows out there. I might do another video on Windows ME as well. And we are very close by. Come on. Come on. You got this. Six. Let me just use gravity to push it down. There we go. Gravity's working. Haha. <laughs> Windows 98 is now setting up your hard... Okay, we need to restart. Restart. Oh, that's a nice graphic. Um, Windows 98 thing. Okay, here we go. There's a bit of Spanish there for some reason. Hmm, weird. Estimated time remaining, 10 minutes. I, I doubt that. Time zone. Oh yeah, we didn't do that, did we? Um, seems about right. Uh, but we are in GMT time. Two one. Here we go. Greenwich Mean Time, Dublin, and Lisbon, London. Apply. Come on then, apply. You want to apply? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> control panel. Windows is now setting control panel, which you can use if you need to. Cool stuff. Windows help. Oh. Was that the... Oh, it was the web TV thing that I wanted to install. Wow. Drum roll, please. It's taking less time. And if you can hear it closely, you can hear my fan whirring around. It's chugging like a train. Just to, just to install Windows 98. Probably because of that Mac OS Catalina update I did. That's probably the reason why it's chugging like a train. Let's see, can you do this? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, the joys of how you used to be able to make um, art with um, this box. Oh, no. Did I freeze it? Okay, I freeze up some. Oh, let's just do a bit of art. Wee. And there we go, we're clearing it out like like a mop. Oh. And there we go, all the dots are gone. <laughs> and it's nearly done. We are pretty close now. It's taking its time. Mm -hmm. so, okay, there we go. Set up needs to restart now. Restart. Well, I really like that. Um, Windows 98 um, booting thing. And it's all in Spanish for some reason. I don't get why it's in Spanish. Okay. Oh, new hardware fell. Okay, fine. Oh. Updating system. Now there we go. We have now installed into Windows 98 after so much trials it took. And there we go. I like the fact that when you change around the Windows back then it was actually it took its time to load up from top to bottom. Let's see, register now. I bet we will not be able to connect to the internet. I want to sign into a new internet account. I want to transfer my existing I want to connect to the LAN. Let's try the LAN. Next. For a, okay, for a local, I do have a local area network, so we'll just click next. And the process server should be there. Do you want to set up an network? Next. Um, of course, Sionizer. Sionizer. It probably won't allow it. Well, let's see. Sionizer underscore. Email. Um, someone at uh, alive. Oh yeah, it's inverted on the Mac. Science dot com. Probably won't work. Let's see. Someone at live dot com. Yeah, I don't think I. I don't think I know this stuff. I might come back to it though if I do find anything in the end. SMTP server to send out. You know, never mind. Come back to that later. You want to close the wizard? Yes, please. So let's have a little look around as well. 
programs, accessories, communication, internet. Ooh, communication, phone dialer, dialer. Oh, you have a phone dialer. How does that thing work? Which area do you live in? Uh, if you want to dial a number outside, what is it? It's plus four four close. I'm actually not sure. I think it's zero two. I think that's what it is. Close number to dial. Let's see. Zero seven five nine. This is not. This is not an actual number. <laughs> Just saying. Dial. Phone dials are unable to find a telephone device with modem to. Ah, oh, man. Well, it was worth a try anyway. It's actually, it actually does look like an actual old phone back then that they used in the landline. Let's try into the Explorer. Okay, we have this thing. Don't detect my modem and I'm a, Detect my modem, why not? Next. Oh, couldn't find any modems. Oh man, we can't even use Internet Explorer. Disgraceful. Well, let's see what else is in the computer. My computer. Um, oh, we have web folders. What do we have here? Oh, we have to add one. Windows C drive. Come, let's see command.com. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. TIR slash W. Uh, wow, we have. Config. Okay, you can't edit. Oh, you can use the editor. Yay! At. Let's just do a simple batch script. At echo off. And at echo hello world. We'll save that file. Save as file name. Huh. They didn't really use a box back then, did they? Um, let's save it as test dot bat Steve right, this is my documents. Alright, we have to type in front test dot bat. Okay. Now we should let's see, let's go into my documents test. Hello world. I thought you were able as well to do a message box, but I'm not really much of an expert in batch script. Uh, let's start see. Oh, network neighborhood. Let's see how that works. Entire network. Unable to. Come on. Yeah, def internet definitely did not work for Windows 98 compared to 2020. So if you do have Windows 98 in 2020, I recommend you upgrade right now. Definitely now. Let's see, run. Let's check regedit. Oh, cool stuff. I have hacked into the mainframe of Windows 98. Let's see what the hardware description. System. Multifunction. This is, I'm probably going, oh. That's some hexadecimal. FF, that's 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. That's hexadecimal, by the way. That's how hexadecimal works. Hexadecimal is a pretty much easier system to understand in a computer compared to binary. Let's look at some more stuff here. Programs, uh, startup, online service. Oh, we have America Online. Oh, AOL. Click here if you live in the United State. Okay, I live in the United Kingdom. Let's see if this works. We recommend. Yes, I want to install that. Yes, we want to install that. Next. I like that. I liked AOL back then. They were actually it was actually pretty cool until it became redundant. Wow, what to AOL? Either that's the funny bit that they used to make this system act like this, which is kind of weird, and it's also kind of cool because you don't really expect this from a Win ninety eight system back then, or even a Win ninety five system. Uh, you done? This may take up a minute. Come on, we're using a VM. We shouldn't take a minute. It should take a second. Yeah. Ooh. Something happened. Oh, it closed onto itself. Huh. Weird. Let's see. Okay, that's just the same thing. 
um, MSOB, let's see, um, programs, accessories, oh, we have paint, art, look, what do you think of my art on Windows 98, a masterpiece, I call this, nah, let's not save it, I'll just, I'll just I'll just sacrifice my masterpiece into the void of nothingness of not saving stuff. Entertainment, ooh, that's some cool stuff. Entertainment system tools. Oh, we have a def. Oh, we have defragment for this. Now that's actually pretty useful. Not many systems had this back then. Calculator. Let's do something classic. Twenty five divided by zero. Positive infinity. <laughs> they could actually give the error would be undefined, or even positive infinity and negative infinity. I was wondering um, how. I was wondering how that actually breaks the mathematical constant. What else do we have here? Oh, oh that's the stuff we already. Oh, let's check this though. AT and D. Could it be really that good? The answer is yes. AT&T's first place ranking came from exceptional performance in the two areas that mean the most to internet users, network reliability and technical support. Oh, that's even in 1997. And, and even won the both class award provided by PC World. Oh. Well, this is actually pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's, this, is, this is something classic. I think they still do it now in the US, but they abbreviate their numbers as um, actual words. So you actually have to dial the number that corresponds to, the, to that letter. It's like in the brick phones that they used to have, and you just have one, and then next to the one in the keypad is to say ABC. So let's just get out of this. Uh, help me. A uh, little help, please. Let's do. It. Okay, I'll just sign here. Okay. Okay. Do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna set up a modem. There's no modem around here. Yeah, forget about this. What else do we have? We must have some games somewhere. Games, games. Where are all the games? Were there no games? No! No games! At all! No fair! Let's see, what else do we have? Settings, taskbar, documents, bind. Nothing really left of this system. I thought you'd take the notepad though. This is some. This is something random. Don't judge my uh, keyboard typing skills. Huh, it's just like Windows 10, pretty much. No, I don't want to save. I'm good. Let's check if there's any Microsoft Word. There should be something like that somewhere hiding around. Internet Explorer, Outlook Express. Accessories, communication, too. Where's Microsoft Word gone? I can't see anywhere. Am I, am I blind? Did I actually forget to install um, Win, um, Office, System Tools, Internet Tools, Entertainment? Let's see what Web TV is actually. I haven't actually checked. Oh, 256 colors. What is this then? Is this 128? Probably is. Let's check the Windows update. Let's see if it actually does anything. Thank you for your interest in Windows. Try Windows update. The extension of Windows. You said something blah, blah. Hmm. Weird. Where did they have this? I want to delete Windows from. Oh wow. Let's if we can actually access any any um IP address. 192.168.1.256 Oh, I, I, I'm greeted with this. 
Let's see. Will they actually see it if I have my modem? Let's see. Recom Acton. Uh, actually, can't it can't actually find mine? I mean, why am I surprised? It wouldn't find mine. Of course, it wouldn't. Let's see. The, let's actually look at the closest one that I could have. I could have. Uh, not that. The because now these days now they keep modems integrated to your um, hub. And that's why you can't really tell anymore. There you go, British Telecom. Next. Yeah, I really cannot use that. Huh. Oh well. So yeah, this is really about it for Windows 98. Just an overall summary, Windows 98 it is, a, it is really a good operating system compared to Windows 95. The setup is much simpler, however, getting your hands on the product key is a bit more tacky on Windows 98 than it is on Windows 95. As you saw, I actually did check on two free websites right now just to see if I could enter a product key. However, when I tried it first time, it didn't work. So that's really about it for Windows 98. And I'll just log off. You want to log off? Yes, please. Let's quit pro. Really? You have to quit a program for you quit Windows? Is that? All right, you know what? Um, file. Exit. And... Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, that's really about it for Windows 98. It's a really cool operating system. I'll give everyone that. And I think I'd actually have to shut it down from here. Shut out. Yes, please. So that's about it for Windows 98 and Windows 98 Second Edition. Hope you found that helpful. Sorry for the big delay on getting the product key. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any um, recommendations, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any support or queries, also leave those in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and take care and see you next video.